Okay, and now I'm going to do primers, um, certain things, concealers, foundations. So let's just get right in. So I have this foundation. I haven't opened it yet. It's Lorsera. Lorsera. Uh, I don't know. I can't talk anymore. It says it's translucent. So maybe I'll get brave and try it one day. I have a NYX eyeshadow base, and it is this number, it's just white. Then I have this NYX eyeshadow base, it is this number, and it's like a beige color. I also have this, and I remember I saying it wasn't necessary to have, but I kind of like using the yellow to neutralize the like darkness under my eyes and then the green neutralize any red blemishes. I don't really use the side of it, but I love the side of it. So I'm gonna keep this. So this is the Wet n Wild Coverall Cream Foundation in the shade Fair Light 816. This is one of my favorite foundations I've ever 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 tried. So I'm definitely keeping this. Now, I had two of these, and I've been using this one, but not this one. So when this one runs out, I'm going to be using this one. And it's really nice, because all you need is like a pea drop size of this, and it covers your whole face. And it's just the photo, photo finish one. So there. I have this little sample. Now, I don't think I'm going to keep this one, because if I remember correctly, there's a kitty playing in the bag. To me, I think it's dried out. Oh, oh, we got a little bit. I don't know, I had to really, like, scrub in there to use that. And I just, I don't know. Maybe I'll keep it. <coughs> this one's not either. I haven't tried this one yet, either. It is a CC Cream. You can get these at Sally's. I got it in the shade Light. Now, I got this foundation. It's a locket foundation from Kat Von D. And it's the shade Light 42. But I think it's a little too light for me. It might be good now because we're getting more towards that fall and winters. So I'm going to hold on to this. I haven't tried this one yet. But I've heard really good things about this. So you can also get this at Sally's. And it is in the shade Ivory. This is one of my favorite concealers of all time, but unfortunately I don't think Benefit is cruelly free and I'm trying to move into that direction. And it's almost gone anyways, so I'm just going to use the last of it and then not repurchase it. I have a Thank Me Later eyeshadow little primer. And I think I'm going to just keep it because it's a little sample size from Ipsy. And it's kind of like icky looking, so I don't really want to give it away to anybody. But then I just don't want to throw it away because I want to be wasteful. This is the Shadow Insurance. And I'm going to keep this too. This is the Wet n Isle Coverall Correction Stick. And this is in Light Pale 801. These are the Hard Candy. This is the All Day and Night. Makeup Setting Spray, and this is the Sheer Envy Hydrating Primer Mist. So I'm going to try these out, because I saw them at Walmart and I wanted to know. I love Hard Candy. It's one of my favorite brands. Then I have, I guess this would be more of a bronzer, but it is a Perfect Body Shimmer. I don't even know how old this is. This has got to be so old, but it smells so good. I don't think I should keep it though. Now I have two of these, but I think this one is done. So I'm just gonna throw that out. Keep this one for like my next Starfire. And then once I run out, I run out and I just won't do that again. I'll just use the blush all over and try to get rid of that blush. Then I have this dusting shimmer powder and I think instead of putting it on my body, I'm just gonna put it in my hair. So yeah. It was more of a collection than a clutter. I'm sorry about that. 
So, I just want to apologize. I don't think I got rid of a single thing. Yeah. It became more of a collection video than a declutter, so...